Hello, welcome. Let's continue the Ghana teacher land sexual examination question number 15 of the objective test question. In a class of 78 students, 41 are taking journalism and 22 are taking public relations. So of the student taking journalism or public relations, 9 are taking both courses. So how many students are not enrolled in either courses? It means they are in the class. They are part of the 78 students, but they are neither doing journalism or public relations. So if we carry this into the set situation, this is what we are looking for. What we are looking for is under complement of the set journalism and world, public relations. And if this is taking us to such problem, writing the preamble from there, taking you being the universal set, you will be having 78 of them being in the class. Then let's use J and P to represent the two subsets. So I'll be having number of journalism, which we have as what? 41. Then number of public relations, is also given as well 22 so is that among this among these two all means union right so the union of uh, journalism and public relation out of this union there is nine of them doing both the journalism and public relations so in this case our intersection is going to be what nine Right, so if you combine the journalism student and public relation, you will find out that nine of them are in both sides. So nine among this total group will be doing both. Then we are looking for the complement. So number of journalism union public relation is equals to what X. That is the complement. So the complement of these people but they are also in the class. Now, we can use a Venn diagram to get our question. We can also use the De Morgan's formula, which says that since we are dealing with union and we are having a complement, we cannot use the union of uh, J and P. We have to use the universal set, which is the biggest set we have here. So the number of universal set is equals to the number of journalism plus the number of public relation plus the complement that we are interested in which is a number of what j union p or complement then finally we need to take away the intersection then minus the number of j intersection what p using the de morgan's theory so what are we going to get? We know this is our universal set, not the union of J and P. So I have my 78 equals to 41 plus 22 plus X minus what? 9. I believe you know the X stand in for the complement. Those who are neither in the journalism class or public relations. I believe this will give us 63, right? So we have... 78 equals to 63 minus 9 plus what? X. We are taking 9 from here. If you take away 3, you are left with 4. 6. 6 from 60 give us 54, right? So I have 78 equals to 54 plus X. We are looking for the X. So let's transpose 54 by subtracting 54 from both sides. That means... I have 78 minus 54 equals to x. And that makes our x to be equals to, take away 2 from here, 4 from here, you get 4. So we have 24. So in this case, the number of students that are in the class but are not doing journalism and public relations will be 24. You can also try using the Venn diagram to see if you arrive at the same word answer using the preamble from here question 16 in a class of 24 peoples 
four need additional support. What fraction of the class in the lowest term need the additional support? So we know fraction is always part of a whole. So here, what is the whole? The total number of people in the class. The whole is going to be what? 24. Then what is the part of the class that need the additional support? That is what? Four of them. So in this case, writing this as a fraction is just going to be four as part of the class over total number of four people in the class. Then to the lowest term, four as a common factor will go into itself one, go into 24, six different times. So the fraction is that if you group the people in groups of six, one group of them will need additional support. Then number 17, there are three apples and you, listening to me, take away two. So how many do you have? There are three apples. Just imagine we have three apples on the table. They are there. Then you are called to come. Take away two. When they take that two away, how many are you having? I'm sure you are, you are trying to look at your hand. You are having two apples. So the question is just what? Two apples. You are having two apples. And one apple is left there. But what we are interested in, what you are having in your hand. So that is what? Two apples. Thank you for watching. I believe by now you have not liked the video. You have not commented. You have not subscribed. I will give you one minute. Do so. And come back. Let's continue. Bye-bye.